Before I start this video, I just want to say that I am not hating on FouseyTube or any of the news channels. I am just giving out my opinions and thoughts on this. I've never really been good at explaining myself, so if something in this video doesn't make any sense, then feel free to leave a comment down below like, hey, what the fuck did you mean by that? This is my opinion, so don't hate on me. It's just, I don't know, it's just what I think about the whole thing, so yeah. I don't mean to send hate to any of the YouTubers I will talk about in this video. I don't mean to say anything disrespectful to any of the YouTubers. I will talk to you as a grown man. I will propose my opinions. I will propose my solutions. I will let you know how I feel as a content creator who is directly affected by your videos. Really, motherfucker? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scares here, and today I have a new commentary. Holy fuck, dude, I just got butt raped by FouseyTube, and it is so crazy, it's so ridiculous, I can't handle this drama. Um. <laughs> So I actually didn't think I was going to make this video, but you know, there were some points in this FouseyTube video that he uploaded today that I just kind of wanted to talk about, just kind of, mm, I don't know, break down for you guys. I don't mean to send hate to any of the YouTubers I will talk about in this video. So why make the video? Why the, <laughs> why make the video if you're not going to send, because that's what you're doing. You're pretty much sending the hate. You're asked, like you're begging your fans to go out and destroy these drama channels. Fousey in this video said that these drama channels likes to destroy careers and these businesses and it's like, are they really, are they really, when have you ever seen Scarce ruin someone's career? I can understand Keemstar, I don't understand Philip DeFranco, but you said it yourself, as a content creator, you want to put out entertaining videos, and that's what these news channels are doing, in my opinion. They provide us with news, and it doesn't even have to be actual news, it can be allegations or rumors. They're taking information that people have sent to them, and sharing it with their audience, as in, if people were going around calling me a pedophile, then those people would go to the news reporter and be like, yo, this guy might be a pedophile, please spread it on your channel so people can be more alert that this guy might be a pedophile. You're not ruining my career by just calling me a pedophile because you're just calling me a name. These rumors do not actually make it true. Unless you do have the solid evidence that I am a pedophile, then go ahead, call me a pedophile because that's what I am. 90% of the time, these drama channels are out here just to confirm these rumors and allegations. Scares can easily be like, Hey what's up guys, it's Scares here and today I have a new commentary. So I pretty much just heard that FouseyTube was gay. I'm not sure if this is is 100%, I'm just saying it because I heard it. And then literally the next day, he will literally make another upload continuing with this story. And he'll be like, So I pretty much just heard that these allegations against FouseyTube are not true and he's pretty much not gay. He's, he's not gay guys, I confirmed it right here on, on <laughs> Scares Alert. That's their life. Why do you have to document it? Why do you have to share it with the world? Why do you have to continue spreading hate and negativity for everyone to see? Because you guys were the ones who started it. You guys were announcing it and shit, like on Twitter. Oh, rice gum. Oh, I, I hate fake people, blah, blah, blah. They talk shit behind my back. And then you're like, oh, at me, nigga. Like, you're, you're making it public. You're, you're letting the world see already. So what are you trying to prove by making this video? Like, it's easy to manipulate these news channels. It's, it's really not. I know you just want to get rid of the negativity that goes on around YouTube. I do understand that. Like, YouTube is, is shit right now. <laughs> but is it really helping anyone to make these attack videos like how Leafy and Grade A under A attacked Keemstar? You are just as bad as Keemstar for doing that. You're attacking someone online. You want to try to get rid of Keemstar by sending hate toward him? Right there is a prime example of how you're creating more negativity in the YouTube community. Like Fousey pretty much just said, why don't these news channels report on the goods that people have done? I know Keemstar has done a lot of bad in his life, but again, no one's looking at all the good that he has done. This guy has donated to so many people in this community and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how people think that he's just buying his way to having a good name. Well, that doesn't matter. He's still doing a good for others and that's the important part. That's the significant thing about what he's doing. I can never compare myself to him because I can never do that for someone. So he's pretty much doing more than I could ever do in my whole entire life. I try to give back but he can do it more. He can do better than I can. So your content is curated by us. So as a person who works really hard and has grinded for five years to get to where I'm at, to have somebody like you use my name in your title and your thumbnail, to have you play CSGO and talk about drama that happens in my life and make money off it, 
I don't think that's cool. But again, you're sometimes forgetting the fact that these news channels actually report on the good. At the end of the day, it's their channel. They can do whatever they want with it. And if people do enjoy their content, then let it be. It's all for entertainment. And I do agree with you that they shouldn't be like TMZ or whatever. But sometimes the drama needs to be said. It needs to be announced. Like, I still don't know if Tobuscus is actually a rapist or whatever. But like, if he was, that like, good. Good that they announced it because now people know. People know that he's actually a rapist and now they, they expose him for who he is. Is that not getting rid of negativity? You ruined his career, but I would have never known if it wasn't for these news channels. I would have never known that this was who Tobuscus really was. Even if you still supported Tobuscus as a rapist, and I don't know if he's a rapist again still, uh, we're just gonna say for this video that he is. Even if he was a rapist and like it's a crime, it's a crime that he committed like raping someone. He might have it all because of his career. He, he pretty much has everything he's ever wanted, but like actions have consequences. So again, sometimes this drama needs to be said. Someone needs to announce it so the world knows. And I know deep down, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing with having me in the thumbnail. You know what you're doing with having me in the title. You're one of the number one clickbaiters on YouTube. And that might be after me. So congratulations. <coughs> you clickbait too. But I think what these news channels are doing is informing me about just anything that goes on in a YouTuber's life. The behind the scenes, as people like to say. Sometimes it's clickbait, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's real news, sometimes it's not. But when I come home from work or just school, like, and I'm not on Twitter to actually see the, this shit that's going on, like these fights or dramas that happen. Thank God for these news channels, because at the end of the day, I can just sit down in my bed, watch these videos, and be like, oh, so this is what happened today. Thank God. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this video, guys. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Um, these were just my points about, like, the entire thing. In my opinion, I just think people should appreciate the time and effort people put into their videos. It doesn't matter what the video is, as long as it's entertaining someone out there and people enjoy their content. That's all that matters. I could get shit for this video, but honestly, you know, if I affected someone somewhere, just made them smile throughout this video somewhere, just, you know what I'm saying? Just appreciate, oh God, the, the kids. Yeah, see, this is why I, I, I'm gonna cut this video a bit short, even though it's six minutes long already. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You guys feel me? All right, so yeah, stay beautiful, my kitties. I'm out of do. This has been Mew. Um, gameplay, gameplay end? Yes, all right, cool. Peace out, guys. <laughs>I actually will star in a Hollywood movie in theaters this year with my theater arts degree as experience. I actually will go on tour with Roman Atwood to sell out 3,000 seated venues worldwide. I actually make people laugh and smile. I actually inspire millions to get into shape and fight for their happiness. But what do you do? You get it. You lift. <laughs> uh, does this sound like gloating to anyone? I don't know. To me, that just sounded like gloating. I'm not sure.